RDF Explain by Seuss and me. In this box are two things. I will show it to you now. You will like these two things, said the geek with a bow. I will pick up the hook. You will see something new. Two things. Dr. Seuss called them thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you. They want to relate. Then thing two and thing one came out of the crate. Each thing has a name, so tracking them is elementary. Each name is a web address, which makes them complementary. But thing two is special. His name is unique. It could be almost anything. It could even be Greek. The geek strode around, looking this way and that, then drew up an arrow from thing one to two's back. These things are related in some little way. It may be quite simple, or any way you can say. The arrow is a contract that names their relation. They might know each other, or be in some causation. Relations are named, you guessed it right away, with web addresses, like things, and they mean what we say. These things are related, just one to the other, but they could also relate each one to their mother. Things and relations make complicated graphs, but each statement is only a relation things have. Things and their relations discussed in due courses. We've built up a framework for describing resources. The Geek in the Hat wants to thank Dr. Seuss, and as for copyright, he proclaims fair use.